So Zillica has continued here to spike up and surge in price. Basically, this coin here increased over 300% in the last couple of days here. So you have to check this out to see why Zillica has continued here to go up. So I highly recommend you guys watch the entire video to really understand what is happening here to this coin here and what's going to happen to the future of Zillica. And don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel because I do make videos every single day talking about the latest altcoins. Okay, let's go and check it out. So before we start this video guys, I want to talk about my Patreon. So I'm trying to make a crypto community here for everybody who's trying to make profit in the crypto space. This is a community where everybody is going to share their own knowledge about crypto and together we're going to try and find out some really good projects to invest into. It doesn't matter if you're just starting into crypto or you've been here for years. And the mission of that group is that every single member needs to achieve financial freedom. So go check out the link in the description for my Patreon and if you're interested do check it out for yourself. So here we are, a core market cap right now. The market cap here for Zillica is at $2.6 billion. The volume actually is a lot higher than that. So $5.7 billion here for the volume. And the volume did go down here by 30%. So the volume here was even more insane than that. So right now, the price of one single token is at 21 cents. If you go here to the last seven days, you can see the, this massive amount of increase here for this a token. If you go here back to the chart and just see how much it has con continued here to go up and it's almost back at it, uh, to its all time high. So this all happened in just a couple of days here, this mass amounts of increase. Look at this, let's just, let's just measure this from here to the top, basically 387%. Right now we're at 344, so that's just absolutely insane. You look at the RSI, what's even more weirder for the RSI is that it didn't just shoot up to the sky and just stop there or something like that. It basically shoot up and then correction, then shoot up, then correction. So pretty much this is all pretty healthy to see for this chart here, for this token. But you do have to remember because it did already have this much of a correction, but you do have to remember it because it did have this much of a price surge that we're going to have a correction here happening pretty soon, like a massive correction. But like I said, a correction is going to be needed here for this coin because if you do not have that correction, the chance here that after some time, uh, we're going to have a massive correction. So the more you delay a correction, the bigger the correction it's going to be. So as you can see here, Zilka did correct itself a couple of times here, but it's not enough because our size is still super overbought right now. Right now on the whole crypto market, we are seeing a massive correction here for Bitcoin and most of the tokens here, but that's pretty much okay. You can just check out the rest of the tokens here and see that, um, it is corrected, but our side did go down exactly where it needs to go for it to continue to go up right now. So this is still pretty much good. Everything is still pretty much okay here. But for Zilla correct, like I said, if you look at the RSI, it's still super overbought. It has to have the correction if you're expecting to, for Zilla to continue to go up now. So again, another thing here, because people have been buying the news for Zilla that's another reason here why Zillica did go up. So because of the metaverse release, or so like the metaverse thing that they're doing right now, uh, basically people are uh, hyping up the project. So problem with that is, after that, they don't, they don't really have a reason here to hold Zillica until like the metaverse infrastructures are being built, like are built. So for that, it's going to take some time. And just because of that, I believe that we are going to have the correction and we're going to start to stabilize a lot more. So I do believe that we are entering like the altcoin season where a ton of altcoins are going up. So that's a good thing. Like you can just see how Zillica did go up. But basically, I do believe that we're going to see that correction and it's going to be a pretty huge correction here for Zillica. Now, can it continue to go up even more? Well, all depends on if they have any good news for the ecosystem again because if they don't that's going to be a huge problem now why it's because if though if we don't have any news and nothing too big is happening then this hype that we did build up right now is just going to slowly die down and just going to start to lose its value but if these guys have some like announcements in store then yeah, this is going to be pretty much absolutely amazing. We're going to start to stabilize right now and then go up again once we do hear some good news. So can we know if that good news is going to happen? No, not really. Now, if you look at this also, why we, we need a correction is because all of these lines just can't even catch up to the graph. So we are in a bullish cross. These are all really huge bullish crosses. The problem is the blue line here, the 20, can't reach the graph. So stabilization is key for the blue line to 
touch the graph. Like I said, we're still in that bullish cross, but we're gonna need that correction if we want uh, this blue line to catch up the graph. And the blue line catching up to the graph is super healthy. This is the thing that we need. Also, as you can see here, we're slowly starting to lose the volume here. So do be aware, aware of that also. So the volume is getting lower and lower. So the buying power is losing, but you have to remember again why it's losing. It's because it's super hard for the coin to continue to go up uh, because it's, of course, you're gonna need a lot more volume for it to continue to go up. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what's gonna happen with the Zilliqa, it's still a long way to go, but uh, I do believe that we're, we're gonna see a correction pretty soon here for this token. So if you go here to Coindesk, they actually uh, made a post here talking about why did Zilliqa continue to go up, saying here, Zilliqa Zil quadruples on op optimism around start of the metaverse service Metapolis. So what is this all about? So why is Zilliqa going up? So Metapolis, is, which is referred to as Metaverse for All, is a service setup offering a blank canvas for clients to build their own virtual universe as they desire. So while observers foresee Metaverse industry booming over the coming years, accessing the same is challenging for the general population, as building virtual infrastructure requires significant investment and technology experts. Last year, Meta platforms, formerly so like Facebook here, lost $10 billion on its augmented and virtual reality operations. The loss was reported five times bigger than the amount Facebook paid to purchase Oculus VR in 2014 and 10 times bigger than what Facebook paid to acquire Instagram. So Metaverse as a service provider like M Metapolis provides required technology and infrastructure to enable users to create and maintain their own Metaverse. The service provider essentially removed the high cost entry barrier opening doors for smaller players. So Metapolis, uh, whose suffix means city in Greek, is uh, designed as a cutting edge ex extended reality, so XR Metaverse, so an amalgamation of AR and VR, and is powered by the Zilliqa's scalable and secure blockchain platform. The head of communications at Zilliqa said in the blog post published in December. Now we have here uh, Sandra here saying Metapol Metapolis, the next internet, so the Metaverse of for all, so the mass, this is the new term here, so the mass. So powered by a uh, leading layer one blockchain layer, Zilliqa, and its security focus phase by design, smart contract language, Zilliqa, innovative NFT standards, so ZRC6 and ZRC7. It says here, Metapolis will allow conceptually rich and custom design domes as part of cities that can house brands, artists, concepts, games, e-stores, real estate, or other digital experiences offering a new layer of engagement for both the physical and digital worlds. Metapolis looks to be self-sustaining and includes engagement layers such as NFTs, e-commerce, play to earn, digital maniques, advertising boards, and more. So this is absolutely insane. So according to the press release dated on March 25th, Metapolis is built on the Unreal Engine. Oh, it's in the Unreal Engine. So the graph is going to be pretty advanced. So an advanced real-time 3D creation for a uh, creation tool for the visual and immersive experience, which means the user experience is likely to rival those of top games. So Metapolis secured 2 million in pre-launch revenue from its client pipeline and recently announced a partnership with Agora, a global talent awards app. This is absolutely insane. Basically what Zilliqa is doing is they're giving infrastructure for people to build on Metaverse. So this is why it has so much potential to go up and this is why Zilliqa did explode in price. So People like Metaverse projects, the problem is it has to be a good Metaverse project and Zilliqa already having established a community here, adding the option of a Metaverse as a service is absolutely insane. So yeah, if you continue here, this is what Zilliqa just said here about the, the coin at desk about this article. So coin desk reflects on why Metapool is special. It is the future of the commerce, conversation and more. In mass, you shape the Metaverse. It can be an expo, a gallery, a stadium, a fashion runway, a marketplace place the question is what do you want it to be so yeah that that's what this is all about and this is why uh, it has been expanding so much it's because of the metaverse saying here what is the metaverse our partner mad lions simplifying it through a conversation so yeah you can check it out again if you do want so so tech uh, round uk it gave its rundown of the top 25 names who are set to regulate create 
finance, influence, and innovate the metaverse. These are the future players within the space. It's no surprise that Zilliqa is one of the, the leaders with Sandra and Max Zilliqa. So yeah, it says here, making the list with Metapolis, so 25 players of the metaverse. So there you go. So yeah, these guys are shaping the future of the world. Now, will people accept this? Well, we're going to see what's going to happen. For now, like I said, people are super excited because it's because, like I said, you can just check out the price of the chart. So yeah, guys, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.